One of the best ways for us to understand electricity is to use water. It just helps us understand how electricity works. Here I've got a bucket that's almost entirely full of water. It's leaking a little bit. And a bucket that is halfway full of water. Both have a hole drilled on the side and the hole is the same size. Which one of these is going to have greater pressure? It's going to have water squirt out further. Yeah, it's probably going to be this bucket. Let's check it out. This bucket certainly has water squirting out a lot further. All right, Elsie wants to help me with this next part. Elsie, you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. You're saying hi to the camera, not the sky. Hi. All right, so this next part, I have both buckets filled up equally, the same amount, but this bucket has a hole that is one half inch in diameter and this bucket has a hole that is one quarter inch in diameter. Let me ask you, which one is gonna have water flow out faster? The one half inch in diameter or the one quarter inch in diameter? Let's find out. So which one had water flow out the fastest? This one did. The hole was just larger, so more water flowed through. That's a great example of amperage. The more electrical flow that can move through a wire, the greater the amperage. Usually in order to increase amperage, you need a thicker wire or a better conductor. So here we had high amperage, and here since it was a smaller hole, we had lower amperage. Remember amperage is the rate of electrical flow.